Welcome back. We followed Madeline here. Let's see if we can find out what she's doing. Fancy meeting a girl like you in a place like this. <laughs> oh, hello, Monsieur Knight. That scene, are we? I am refreshing my memory for tomorrow. Tomorrow? You mean for that tour thing? So what's so special about this place? Mm, nothing. And anyway, you are not taking the tour, so why do you care? You got a point there. Okay, well that's suspicious. I don't think she's in the mood for company. You know, if they're trying to portray um, Madeline as attractive, the smoking is not helping. Well, other than that, there appear to be some stone foundations here. There were buildings here, once. There's not a lot of growth going on in this area, is there? It's a tourist site. What do you expect them to do? Build condos? Alright. I guess we're not finding out what Madeline is doing. But at least we got a new location on the map for it. Um, let's see... Well, before we uh, started following people, we went to uh, the uh, to the chateau. So I think I will go back there now to actually look around. Let's see, there's two places to go here. Rock Negra. Rock Negra. Black Rock. That is indeed what it means. Well, let's see what's there. Well, it's a black rock. That's one heck of a big black rock. That is kind of what we were expecting to find here, weren't we? Anything else? No? Not even any signs. Nothing to see in the area. Well, that's kind of pointless then. The other direction is the Chateau itself. Chateau de Blanche Fort. Let's see. That's up this way. Oh, what the hell am I doing? We follow the path here, goes further up. Can I actually see the fort or something? That's Chateau de Blanche Fort up there. On the white rock instead of the black rock. And now we are at the top here. And there's no one else. Well, let's look around. Another helpful sign, which apparently we cannot read. It's a diagram of the chateau that used to be here. There's no read icon, so okay, well I'll read it then. Chateau de Blanche Four. Home of the Blanche Four family, possibly including Bertrand de Blanche Four, the sixth Grand Master of the Knights Templar. This chateau was under Templar possession from 1132 until at least 1180, I guess. Because if it says 1130, then that makes no sense whatsoever. It's a bit hard to see because the uh, numbers are somewhat faded. Well, I guess these are the remains of the fort. Hmm, not much left of the place, is there? 
Indeed, but it is a nice and high vantage point, so perhaps we can do something with that. There's this mountain again. That's a nice looking mountain. If you're into that nature stuff. There's a big orange rock off the road over there. You can actually see that on the map, but right now we can't we can't actually go there. There's the black rock. There's that big black rock you can see from the road. I don't know, is there anything else we can look at from here? That's Ren Le Chateau over there. Not what you might call your major metropolis, is it? No. Then does it have to be? Anything on this side? No, because my cursor just shows the movement icon. Now we actually got a, a better way to look at all this stuff. We got that with the bike. Binoculars. The Binox came with the Harley. Well, you see, they make things that are far away look real close like. Yeah, I can't argue with that, I guess. We also got shovel with the bike. I have that shovel on the bag if I decide to use it. So, if we ever do find the treasure, we have a way to dig it up. This seems unlikely. Um, even if it is, even if there is a treasure, it seems unlikely that it would be just in a place where you could simply dig it up. It sounds like it, uh, if it exists, it would be too big for that. Now, the problem with the binoculars is that they normally move way too fast. Why aren't they doing that now? Maybe it's because I'm recording? I all ha had my slowdown utility prepared and everything. Now it seems I might not need it. Okay, well we can look around with this, and there are certain places where you can zoom in for a better look. Like, for example, that orange rock. But there is... No one there. But there may be other places we can look at. Like that place. Well, that looks like Kumsur. So, hypothetically... Madeline is there, yeah. And she's using that device we saw her put away in her back. I think she didn't want to use it in front of us. Looks like she's looking for something. Kind of reminded of the tracker we used in uh, Gabriel Knight 1. She's also carrying a map, so that definitely seems to be it. But what is she looking for? The treasure? I mean, like I said, she's a tour guide. She must have gone through this a hundred times. So maybe she got some new information and thinks that she now can find the treasure or something? I don't know. Sounds unlikely to me. Let's see, that's the town, isn't it? Hey! That's Bukele! Did he spot us? Kinda looks like he did. Bukele is using his binoculars at the top of the Tour Magdala. Oh, and that's Villa Bethania, I guess. Can't see the hotel from here. Can't look far enough to the right. I wonder what uh, Bukele is so interested in. I wonder if he saw us. Kind of looked like he did. I'm not sure if there's anything else to. Uh, it's still kind of touchy, but it's definitely not as fast as it usually is for me. That's the orange rock again, so I think that's it. Very suspicious, that's for sure. We've spotted all these people... ...doing things here that we know not of. Um, how do I get down from here again? That way! Um, there is actually a house back there, and you can walk there from here. That is Larry Chester's house, which is adjacent to Chateau de Blanche 4 on the map. But I don't want to go there right now. 
I fa in fact, I think if you go there right now, there are certain events that you'll miss later on because that triggers something. And it seems there's actually something on the uh, other side of the road as well. They even label their mountains around here. Peshkardu is the mountain, it seems. I don't have my hiking boots on. Gabriel does not feel like mountain climbing today. And labeling their mountains is really something only the French do. I mean, no other people in the history of the world have ever given names to mountains. Okay, well, another place I really kind of want to visit at this point is Quiza. See if somebody at the station noticed the... Uh, Kidnappers or something like that. That looks like a taxi. Wow, classic chassis. We were taken to the hotel by a taxi, weren't we, if I remember the introduction? So maybe that's the same taxi? Nice number plate, HMS. Um. The owner wouldn't like it. Besides, I preferred the back. I didn't mean steal the car, I just mean meant to use the taxi. I wonder if that guy runs the taxi service. He might have been around last night. So he might have seen our kidnappers. Hi there. Oh, it's you. Haha. <laughs> you are feeling better, I hope. That was a nasty bump you had on the head last night. Sure. Um, you took me over to Ren Le Chateau, right? Yes, uh, you must remember the car. You said it had a smell like the, uh, garlic. <laughs> Probably my dog, Fifi. He loves to eat the garlic, and then he... <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for jogging my memory. Oh, it's my pleasure, monsieur. <laughs> this is another character voiced by, um, René Aubergenois. Odo from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I think this and the bike owner are the only two characters he voices. But now you know. You were here last night. Did you see two men with a trunk come out of that station just before I did? Yes, but they didn't need a ride from me. No, what they do? They drove off, monsieur. Yes, but how? Did they have a car parked here? No. Well, yes, I guess it was parked uh, at the time. Could you tell me exactly what you saw? Two men with a trunk came out of the train station and... Mm, I'm having a hard time remembering. I get the feeling he's holding out on me. He must want something. Yeah, looks like he uh, was making the universal gesture that means I want cash. Fortunately, we have some. We don't have to sell any paintings. Or give out vouchers for our bookstore. <laughs> My memory needs more help than that, monsieur. Really, little bastard, ain't he? <laughs> Très bien. Now, I tell you. There was waiting a car, monsieur. Maybe for an hour. Then the two men came out, they get in the car, and voila. What kind of car? Very nice, very fine. It does not smell like the garlic, this car. What was the make? It was a sedan. As to the make, uh, <laughs> my eyes are not so good. <sighs> you want more money? No, monsieur. My eyes are really not so good. Oh. Well, what about color? Black. Very black, this car. And the driver? Um, not old. Well dressed. Oh, and the trunk. Like it was the Queen's China they handled that trunk. Into the back seat it went, not even in the boot. Hmm. One more thing. 
Which way did they go? The same way I took you, monsieur. Toward Rennes, the chateau. That does not mean that they actually stopped there. They could have moved past it. Well, at least it sounds like they're trying to keep the kid alive. That's a good thing. It's the guy who drove me to Rennes le Chateau. I don't remember any of it. And apparently his dog craps in his car. A real classy guy. I don't think I'm gonna get any more out of that guy. I don't think I've looked at the Harley. Since I got it. That's my Harley. What I went through to get that back. Indeed. Well, Quiza Gar. Gar SNCF, I suppose. Good thing that sign's there, or I'd swear this was a garage. Yeah, it doesn't really look like a station. Well, there's, there's track, I suppose there's that. Proof that the Great Iron Way really does go everywhere. I don't know if Quiza Station is really this dilapidated in the real world, or if that's something they changed for the game. I vaguely remember this platform from my arrival. I was pretty out of it. The French really enjoy their barrels, don't they? Cheap seating and storage facilities in one. Yeah, sure. Well, maybe someone inside has seen something. Okay, okay. That's track access. I'm guessing it says the trains are that away. Uh, that way leads to the trains. I'm not taking one that I know of. Um, let's see. Tickets. Either that means tickets in French, or they've got a side business going in munitions. And they can't spell bullets. Yeah. Sure, I think it's tickets. There's a girl in the ticket booth. That's helpful. Oh, maybe she saw something last night. Hello there, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Where is it you wish to go? I'm already there. <laughs> I want to ask you a few questions. Oh, uh, oui. All right. Um, let's ask about the kidnappers first. Did two men with a trunk come in from Paris yesterday evening? We had three arrivals last night from Paris, but uh, I have no idea who they were. Do you know where they went? <laughs> Mais no. We only keep a record of the number who arrive, and only that because there is some talk of cutting service to Guiza. We have few visitors, and most of them come by auto. Well, three men, that I guess means Gabriel and the kidnappers, but other than that, there's no help. We can also ask about the uh, legendary train from Naples that Bukeli claims to have taken. Do you have a record of a man getting off the Naples train last night? There was no train from Naples last night, monsieur. We have very limited service. Is that so? What trains did come in? We have a set schedule, monsieur. The trains are listed on the board. I guess we'll have to check the board then. What other trains had passengers disembarked last night? Um, a moment. There was one passenger from Rome, none from Madrid, two from Nice earlier in the day. Great, thanks. Well, Rome is Italy, at least. That's where they sell tickets. Cute kid. She works here. I don't think we're getting anything else out of her. Let's take a look at the train roster. It's a list of arrivals. Those are the trains you can catch from here. Daily. Paris and Bordeaux, Tuesday and Thursday, Rome and Madrid. Not a lot of options if you want to leave Coiza. Yeah, sure. It's a list of arrivals. 
Yesterday was Wednesday, so the only trains that came in were from Nice, Paris, Madrid, and Rome. There is no Naples route. In other words, Buccelli is lying. Either he didn't take the train at all, or he didn't take the one he says he took. Yeah, um, this is where I take issue with the whole thing, because none of these trains actually exist. And it's a minor detail, and normally I wouldn't really mind that much for something like this, but since the game makes a major plot point out of the fact that the train that Bukeli claims he took doesn't exist, then is it really too much to ask that you try and stick to the real schedule for the real place your game is set in? Because at this point, um, my jaw was basically on the floor when I was playing this, because when Bukeli originally claimed to have come from Naples, my reaction um, was, of course that's not true, there can't be a train to, uh, from Naples directly to Cuisa. Cuisa is a really tiny town, it does not have connections to any place even remotely as distant, and that is in fact true for all of the uh, stations listed here. If you check where rennes le chateau actually is, you'll see that it is near the Pyrenees, close to the French-Spanish border, not the French-Italian one. Naples isn't particularly close to that border either, and frankly I doubt there's any direct trains from Naples to France at all. You'd probably have to change in Milan or Genoa. And if a train from Naples to France did exist, it would undoubtedly go over Rome. In fact, since I don't think Bukeli even actually specified he took a direct train, maybe he meant he went from Naples and then transferred in Rome. Which would work if this schedule was real, which it isn't, but anyway. In reality, Cuisa has train connections to Cuillon and Carcassonne, both of which are close to Cuisa. Any further and you have to transfer at any one of those two, usually Carcassonne. In fact, I used the transit planner to see how you'd actually go from Naples to Cuisa. The quickest route that I found went via Milan, Dijon and Carcassonne, utilizing four trains including the Eurostar and the TGV, both high-speed trains. Total travel time, almost 20 hours. I don't know. I know I ran too much about these kinds of things, but this just irks me. They make a major plot point out of what trains come here, so they might have paid attention to what trains actually stop here. But I guess maybe they were afraid that all those poor American gamers would not know places like Quillon or Carcassonne, so they had to put major capital names on the board, otherwise no one would know, maybe, perhaps. Which they could have solved if they just would have put a map up there. So you could see how it was connected to various other places. Okay, well that's all we can do at the station, I think. And that ends the time period, so we'll continue with 4pm in the next video.